Hi, welcome to this edition of Conversations with Claris. Today we have with us Chris Schrader, a wealth advisor with Claris. Chris, we're going to talk a little bit about year-end planning today. So we want to get uh, your outlook on that, some of the things that we look at here at Claris uh, when we're looking at year-end planning. Great. Glad to be here, Stan. Happy holidays since we're filming this over the holidays to everyone. And year-end planning checklist. So there are a couple things that with our clients we do all year long in preparation for year end. And then there's some other things that you can take advantage of before year end that, I, that we feel are very important to our clients and to you uh, as well. So I'll just run through a list uh, of a couple things that are not, the, they're not necessarily the most important because everybody's situation is a little different, but I think these are pretty much some of the most common that you should look at throughout the year and towards the year end. One of those is trust and wills. Are they updated? Have you gotten married, divorced, uh, kids, grandkids? Um, do you like them? Do they need to be removed or added? Special needs. So there are some planning opportunities here and these should be reviewed generally each year to make sure that your property and the people that you love are taken care of in the right way. For assets that don't go into a trust, those with a beneficiary statement, so IRAs, life insurance, please check the beneficiary statement. Uh, things happen and if you haven't changed it to make it accurate, then maybe someone receives an inheritance and that wasn't necessary to plan. So that's a tough spot to try to do after that event has happened. Required minimum distributions. So through the CARES Act, uh, through 2020, there were some changes. And if you're not taking RMDs yet, be aware that that new attained age is 72. Um, just be sensitive to that. Make sure that those RMDs have been taken uh, so that you don't want to file the IRS. And there are some penalties if you do forget to do that. Now, one of the biggest things that we do for our clients uh, each day, each month, each quarter is rebalance portfolios. That's something we talk a lot about on a monthly basis at a minimum here at Claris with the group. So making sure that your goals and objectives are still aligned with your portfolio investments. So what's changed? Do I need to dial it back? Do I need to look at different types of investments that fit me today? So is your current portfolio in line with who you are currently is what I like to say. Gains and losses. So the IRS, Uncle Sam doesn't know uh, anything about your investments until you sell. That's the activity that creates the taxable piece of that. So we wanna take a look at where you stand for gains and losses. Don't forget about education funding, your FAFSA forms, uh, the different rules around that. So be sensitive to where you are and those deadlines that come up. They do come up towards the end of the year. Check with the school on those deadlines. And lastly, your HSA, your FSA, and your 401k contributions. The beginning of the year, is it automatically going up? Have you put that provision in place? Should it be in a Roth 401k versus a traditional 401k? So these are just some of the most important things that we talk to our clients about at the end of the year and throughout the year. Uh, for a more expanded list, we'll have the year-end planning checklist out on our website claris-advisors.com, and we hope you'll visit there as well. Sam? Thanks, Chris. I, I think you're right. I think this year in planning to have a checklist available, something that you can look at, kind of go through and check off these things to make sure that they're, you know, correct or you've addressed them. Um, and that goes along with just overall planning. Um, it should fit with your overall planning and things that you should be reviewing annually anyway. So, Chris, thanks for enlightening us on, All right. on the some of the year in planning techniques, checklists that we like to go over. Um, we appreciate you joining us. Until next time, goodbye.